Basically, she's saying that straight men aren't straight. So she think that, you know, when you're dating one of them, they always have a boyfriend on the side. If you are dealing with a black man, you need to have at least, at least the small thought that he may have either been involved with a man actually or he is actively still dealing with men and you don't know about it. Me personally, whenever I've dealt with a black man, I've always just had it in the back of my head based off of certain things where I'm like, he probably is or has had relations with another man before. But why though? Why would you as an older woman sit on a platform and give that type of advice to women and younger women in general? Why would you advise women to go into a situation with such a poisonous thought process? Yeah, you know, talk to that black man, but just know in the back of your mind, have that slight thought that he's probably had an encounter with another man. Why would I go into a situation thinking like that? And then when I went on your page and I came across yet another video of yours and you went on to say, yeah, I used to be a stripper, so I know a lot about men and then and then. No, baby, you only know your experience. And because you were out there putting yourself out as trash, that's what you receive back. The truth of the matter is you get what you put out. You put yourself out as trash and you receive trash back. I'm not saying that all men will disrespect women that's strippers but the point of the matter is you're not going to get the best version of most men when they find out that that's what you are and who you are and that's what you've done now you may not be a stripper in today's world but your name still sets in that setting so therefore men are still going to respect you as such this is why we have to be a little bit more aware of what we do when we're younger this is why i tell young girls to be self-aware of everything that you do when you are younger because it's going to follow you regardless and it's going to lead you to be an older woman that's i'm not going to call you bitter but i think it's very very interesting that that's your take on black men but i can only assume that you're not going to have great experiences with black men because black men have a stigma about how they choose to feel about women that's strippers, ex-strippers, only fans, and that's their right. So because they're not respecting you, you'd rather put out that type of information for other women to feel like that's what it is with black men. So we can what? Not date them because they don't date you? You and Shira, y'all are older women that's giving the younger girls the most terrible advice ever not help them ever they will resent you for it later even though he didn't need the help and say i can't help you my money's tied up i gave it to my mom something side to your wigs being twisted y'all are not what y'all put out it's like y'all try to act like y'all these super well-kept women that's giving women like you know good advice and yeah you need to do this with a man and do that with a man to have a man do this and a man do that and y'all are teaching women to just play a bunch of mind games and you play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. I'm not saying that the young girls got to necessarily listen to me. Just understand that when I'm speaking, the only thing that I try to get young girls to understand is to respect themselves. Be self-aware. Have discernment. Choose wisely. Be aware of your actions and the things that you do while you're young because what you do when you're young will follow you. Just decenter men in general. The advice I have for young girls is to simply decenter men and focus on yourself. Focus on your 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 well-being focus on your skincare routine focus on being a better mom if you're a mom focus on being a better woman drink more water you know chase your own goals go get your own six figures shira you are not doing anything spectacular you married an older man you told young girls that the uglier a man is and the older a man is the easier it is to get what you want what type of advice is that for young girls you are teaching them to use their time to chase other people for what they've worked hard for instead of telling them to use their time to just work hard for the life that they want and a man will eventually match what you can do for yourself teach these young girls how to be women but y'all are two older women that's giving these girls advice on how to use men and how to disrespect men and to place some type of a stigma on them that they may all possibly be gay. Very obvious that 
a lot of ladies don't have great experiences with men, black men, but don't try to poison other women into thinking that that's what it is for all men and that's what it's going to be for all women. Those are y'all experiences. And based off what I'm looking at, at you two ladies, y'all are not that attractive. One was a stripper. Shira, you look terrible all the way around. I'm only assuming that you're starting to look halfway decent because maybe Instagram, TikTok, YouTube might be paying you so you're coming across some extra dollars. But I don't think your life was ever what you put it out to be anyways. you just putting out content of what sounds good so that you can get your money up. And now you're trying to appear to look like you got money. But if you go back and look at how you used to look, you was never bagging no top tier man. I don't care what you say. Them wigs would not be sitting off y'all foreheads like that if y'all was them top tier women like y'all say. Y'all older, I'm going to leave you with this. Stop trying to poison the young girls. Because I'm starting to think that y'all mad because y'all didn't win. And now y'all want them to finish last like y'all because y'all know they y'all competition. Young girls is y'all competition. So y'all want to poison their head and hope that they don't finish because y'all never finished. Stop lying to these young girls. They stand a chance, you don't stand a chance.